If you want to improve your forms conversion rate, I do recommend that you check out Bizmay Forms. They've implemented characters to the forms so they make it more appealing and in return, you get a better conversion rate. So let's go check them out right now. What's up everyone? So I want to show you the Bizmay Forms feature that they've just launched. And one of the cool features that they have is that they've implemented characters into this. Now you don't have to stick with characters. You can actually remove them with the standard form or a full background. But in my case, I think that's the fun part about Bizmay Forms which I think is what is going to be appealing for people to actually fill it out. So let me show you how it works. This is my Bizmay account. And if you have one already, this is where you're going to get started. So go into create new and you're going to find this new feature, which is forms and surveys. Let's go ahead and click on this and we're going to be able to find all the templates available that they have. Now, first off, it's going to ask us what is the purpose of our form? So we got newsletters, lead magnets, contact forms, event registration, custom, and account sign up is coming up soon. So for example, let's go with something really basic, which is a contact form. And yes, you can go with custom and do everything from scratch. But in this case, you can get started with templates, which I've always think is the best idea to get started. Then you just modify it to your liking and you're good to go. So there's several of these templates. We can go ahead and preview any one of these. And yes, we can modify the character. We can change what they do, the style and all that. And we can even build our own character if we like. So this one looks nice. I mean, that's okay. There's also the mobile view if you want to see how it looks, or you can go ahead and select another one. Let's go ahead and preview this one. And you can see that there's different characters, different styles, and there's different styles also for the form. So just select the template that you like and the feeling that it has. So it's much easier to customize it. But in this case, I mean, I'll just go ahead and select this one. It's a random form. We get the style, we get the characters. And before I show you how to implement the form fields and all of that, let me show you the cool feature that I like the most, which is the characters, right? So the first thing is we can show characters or not. We can go ahead and get rid of them if we like. But in this case, we do want to use them. And there's different type of enter stage for these characters. For example, I can use a briefcase and it's going to depend on the business niche that you want to use for the character that the style is going to have, right? So for example, that's the briefcase one, the, the moonwalk, which is kind of fun. And it's going to depend on the business a Tarzan style. You can go through these one by one and select the one that you like. Then you have the waiting post, which is like if someone doesn't fill out the form and it's there, they're going to be able to view the waiting post, which is a patient and he's actually checking out the watch time. There's a sleepy one. It's like, all right, come on, let's let's fill it out. And then there's a hurry up, the urgent need to, hey, hurry up. Let's go ahead and fill this out. All right. And then you got an ending post. So that means that when someone fills it out, it's going to start the ending post, which could be a dance. It could be a floss dance. Check it out. There's a dance right there. There's a very excited. And confetti. So you got all those styles. And then we have the option to work with the character. So what do we want to do with the character? Do we want to change it? Do we want to create our own character? So you got several characters already pre-built here. You can just click and it's going to change it really quickly. So just go ahead and select the one that you like. And you can go ahead and edit the character if you like. So if I like the style and I just need to tweak a little bit there. I can edit the character and there's the cool ones right here. So kind of different style. So like I said, depending on the business is the type of character that you want to use or just go ahead and create your own with this. You can go ahead and name your avatar. You can go ahead and character. It's going to be male, female, the body style, cool, sleek, the skin color, eye color, the head. You got your hair. You got facial hair. You got glasses, hats, etc., and then you got the apparel. So if you want to change that up, you got the upper, bottom, and shoes. So a lot of settings to make a custom character to your liking. So I think it's a really great feature that they've implemented that you can really make your form stand out with it. All right. Now, when it comes to the actual form style, those are going to be over here on the left. So first off, you got the style. There's pre-built styles that you can use or you can customize it if you like. So for example, if I don't like the style that it has right now with the kind of turquoise green kind of color. Maybe this one is the better look for your business. Just go ahead and select this one, all right? And there's several styles that you can select right here or at your new style. And when it comes to the content for the fields, we're going to go right here. So we got the content. There's a subheader. If you want to enable this, and you can see it just popped in and I can go ahead and edit that details right there. The button style for the editing, the form icons. We got the intro. So here we go. And you can see there's little cards down here, which is pretty cool because you can jump into sections by clicking it there. So right there, we're back at the intro. OK, so here's the intro card. Do I want the logo there? Yes, no. And if I do, I can go ahead and replace the logo to add my own logo. The header, maybe I don't need that header, so I can just go ahead and remove it or keep it. 
There's the subheader, text, buttons, the footer, the form icons, and then we can add form fields from here. So for example, right now we're in the intro section, which has intro and the name. So that's one of the fields. And if I want to edit the field, I click on the gear icon and then I have the settings on the right, which is name options. If it's going to ask for the full name, first name or last name, if you want to separate it, show fields, make it required all from here. OK, but what if I want to implement a new field? So I just click on add field and then I have several options available. These ones are grayed out because these fields already are inside of the form. So what about if I want to add a short answer? Well, I'll go ahead and click on it and I can select several of these and then add field. In this case, I'll just add one short answer. Here we go. And you can see it's added right here, but I want to add it over here in the intro. So I just drag it up here. OK, let's go back into the intro. And now we're asking the answer. So here we go. The short answer and the name. And again, we can go ahead and modify it by typing in right here or the gear icon. In this case, we'll leave it as it is. But see how easy it is. You add a field and you just drag and drop it in the step that you want to use it. You can name these steps in case you don't want to get lost with them, but it's up to you. So there's the intro, step two, three, and the thank you for the ending. So there's several fields that we can use. There's even the rating section. So if you want to create a survey form, that is possible with the system. If you want to create appointments, time, ask for the country, legal consent. If you want to enable privacy and marketing agreement, that's available right there. You can see it's a little square that we can just tick on if we want to allow for the marketing or the privacy policy and go ahead and turn it off if I like. And let's go back. And in the end, we have the thank you section. We want to modify it from here and we're good to go with the form and our characters, which is super easy to get started, right? Once you're good to go, you have options to connect in case you want to connect this with other type of applications that is possible right here. And then we have the publish system. Once you're ready to go, go ahead and publish it. And we're going to get the options right here. So for example, name this form so we can locate it later on the link to share. So once you share this thing, someone can fill it out really quickly. So let me go ahead and copy it really quickly. Go to incognito mode and you're going to see the character with the form right here. There we go. Here's a character that popped in. And here we go. Since this is a full page form, you can see we can see it on the whole page, but we can also embed this on our website. So that's for the link that you're going to share. We have the embed options. So you got pop up over page and you got a little details right there. And then we got the settings for that between content and the sidebar. So for example, so pop up page, you have the options to load this after a page load. So once the page load, it's going to pop up or after five seconds, 10, 20, you set it right here or after user interaction or my best option. What I think I like the best is the after viewer scrolls past a certain amount of percentage of a page. Why? Because I think that someone's already interested in that page and they're going to see the pop up once they scroll. If not, it won't pop up. Now it's up to you what you want to select, but that's the one I prefer. One of your attempts to leave the page. So if they go outside of the browser right there, it's going to pop up the, the form. So maybe someone might come back once they see the form there. So you get all these options. Once you select it, you can go ahead and copy the code and embed it on your website, which is super easy. And then you got your privacy settings. So it's going to be public, not and private is coming soon. And once you start receiving form submissions, you're going to have all your data right here from viewers, start submitted completion rate and the average time right here. And you can go ahead and export everything. And then we can, we're able to view all the submissions right here on the list. So it's a really great option if you want a form that's going to be more appealing. So I do recommend that you check out Bisme Forms. I will be leaving the link in the description in case you want to check it out. And that's a wrap for Bisme Forms.